Hi, it's Dr. Centeno, and today I'd like to talk about should you get your disc injected with stem cells? This is kind of all the rage right now. Well, at our Colorado clinic, we were the first in the world to inject stem cells into discs, and we've learned some things along the way. So this isn't a new fad for us. This isn't something that we went to a weekend course to learn. This is something we've been perfecting for the last 12 years. So let's review the anatomy of your spine. You have a disc that acts as a shock absorber in between the vertebra or the spine bones. You have a facet joint in the back where those two spine bones or vertebra articulate. You've got a nerve that comes out at that level, one on each side. You've got a multifidus muscle that provides stability and you've got a ligament that also provides a different kind of stability. Now, when the disc is torn and causing pain or leaking chemicals, a stem cell injection can make sense. So this would be if there's a, a tear in the disc uh, and the disc itself is causing pain, usually those patients can't sit very well, or there's a tear in the disc and the, the disc is leaking chemicals onto the nerve, irritating the nerve. And in those scenarios, a stem cell injection can be very helpful. The problem, however, is that when there's another scenario, which is just as common, where there's a disc bulge, a bulge in the disc that's kind of irritating the nerve, or the nerve got tweaked, or there's a herniated disc where the stuff inside the disc here herniates out, in those scenarios, we can often treat the patient without injecting into the disc. This is called a platelet lysate epidural, and we're on our fourth generation platelet lysate that we place right at that spot where the nerve is irritated. When platelet lysate doesn't work and there's a disc bulge that's still pressing on a nerve, something like this, causing issues down the nerve, then injecting specially culture expanded stem cells right into that spot, precisely under x-ray guidance, can help get rid of that bulge without the need for a big surgery. But with either of these issues, the stabilizing, called the stabilizing muscle called the multifidus, which is right back here, can shrink. And that causes instability and problems stabilizing, which then tweaks the nerve and causes issues down the nerve. So this needs to be treated separately to restore spinal stability. So it's not frequently as simple as just treating the disc or treating the nerve. The facet joint can also get injured from lots of different things, and that may also need to be treated. So here's another thing. And the ligaments that live back here can get loose, and they can cause slippage or active instability, and so those ligaments may need to be tightened down through injection. Finally, when the disc loses its ability to hold on to water and collapses and things start to get unstable and shift and the multifidus shrinks up, you've got really a whole spine disease. It's not just a disc disease. So injecting just the disc here is not going to do anything. You've got a problem with a nerve that needs to be dealt with. You've got a problem with the multifidus that needs to be dealt with. You've got a problem with loose ligaments, irritated joints in here. All of those different things need to be treated for this patient to have a successful therapy. So again, this is a whole spine disease and regrettably, we see doctors trying to inject these kinds of discs and it doesn't work. And these patients don't get much better. Where if you would really focus on treating the entire spine here and all its different parts, you'll get a much more successful treatment. So in summary, based on our extensive experience, uh, there are certain patients that do well with a disc treatment. In many patients, however, treating several areas with things like stem cells or advanced platelet treatments outside the disc actually works better than just treating the disc. So for more information, see Regenix.com. And there you'll find lots of information. You'll find an entire book that you can read on this. You'll find lots of videos uh, from patients. You'll find educational videos and much, much more. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day.